Hello everyone, welcome to the Econo Challenge. Today I've got a special treat for you. I'm going to show you the um, grouping of technology that I've put together for a compact, low impact way to explore the wild on the water. And I think I've got some stuff that if you're into solar power and electric motors, you're going to find very interesting. Stay tuned, let me show you what I've got. Okay, here's how this is supposed to work. That lead acid gel cell battery is rated at 18 amp hours, which will probably run that Mincota electric motor for about 15 minutes. Not nearly long enough for me to get to where I need to go today. That's the reason why I have the solar panel. Now the solar panel is 80 watts, 40 watts aside. Um, and that's 40 watts more than what I would normally need to run the Makota motor. And that's hooked up to the battery. And the Makota electric motor is also hooked up to the battery. And the idea here is, if I get a little bit of sun, it will continually provide enough electricity to run the motor and I won't run down the battery. I've never tried this on a partially cloudy day like today. And those clouds look pretty thick over there although they're going to blow by. This will be interesting to see if I make it to my island destination. So I just tested it out there under partially cloudy conditions. It's, the sun's just come out now. It's putting out 0.7 of an amp without any draw on the battery and the battery's full. So, so far so good. But. We're not going to find out for sure until I get out on the water. <laughs> okay, we're out on the water and we are rocking and rolling. The uh, sun is behind a cloud right now and I've got the motor at almost full and so far the solar panel is doing all of the work. I'm not taking any charge off the battery. It's still reading full. Now that uh, boat you see behind me right there that's a little dinghy that I'm pulling behind me and in there is my gear is with the solar panel up front I really don't have a lot of room for gear so I'm trying that out this trip so far I'm very pleased I won't congratulate myself until I actually get there <laughs> So what are some of the benefits of this little system? It's as quiet as a canoe or kayak. I can definitely bring along more gear than I can put in a kayak. Perhaps not as much as in a canoe. But I'm not exhausting myself paddling. The motor's doing all the work. Now, if I can't get that motor to work, this thing is terrible to paddle. I did check that out, so I'll probably wish I had a canoe or a kayak if I can't get this motor working for some reason. All right, I should be a little balanced here and mention some of the drawbacks of this system. One is it was quite a long time to set all this up. I can't operate and travel at night although I'm not sure that's a good idea even if you paddle a canoe or a kayak. I certainly do not have enough power in this electric motor to power through any kind of a storm, so in windy conditions, I'm stranded. And I guess I should also mention if I spring a leak, I've stranded an awful lot of gear out in the wild. 
and will have to rely on somebody with a boat to get all of my stuff back to my car. I did bring along a patch kit, just in case. So nearly ideal conditions, partly cloudy. This little setup works just about as good as a gasoline powered noisy motorboat and that's what I was after. We have reached the end of my weekend and we have arrived at the moment when I must face the fact that I have to return home and lucky for me it is a beautiful partly cloudy day so I shouldn't have any trouble with my solar panel battery configuration having enough power to make it all the way back to shore. Of course, if I do have any troubles, I'll be sure to give you an update. <laughs> well, the electric motor managed to power me through some fairly windy conditions, which made me very happy. We're at four o'clock in the afternoon sun with some cloud and the solar panel is doing fine, supplying just enough power to keep that motor going full tilt. Now, as I said earlier, that's a 80 watt solar panel and it can produce up to four amps of charging power in full sun. And here I am at four o'clock in the afternoon and we're still delivering between 3.8 and 3.9 amps to that battery. And the battery is three quarter charged. And I'll just send out a quick thank you to Carl Cox Motors and RV Sales for providing me with this beautiful compact 80 watt solar panel from Zamp Solar, power to explore. So maybe some of you fishermen that use a trolling motor and a really large deep cycle battery have been given some ideas here. I hope this inspires. If you have any questions, by all means, put them in the comments down below. I look forward to seeing you there. And thank you very much for watching the Econo Challenge. See you in the next video. Bye for now.